Welcome to Deck Check, the series where I check out a game and let you know how it plays on deck. Today, I'll be taking a look at Temtem, an online monster collecting RPG in the vein of Pokemon released by Crema. I'll be going over compatibility, controls, graphic settings, and overall feel, and giving the game a final rating based on how well it plays on deck. If you find this content helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel and every subscription helps a ton. Temtem starts out on the right foot as it boots up and runs just fine on the deck with no additional tweaking necessary. Now, compatibility for games on deck can change over time, so I recommend checking the comments below to see if anything has changed in the time since this video was posted. And if you yourself end up having an issue with this, go ahead and leave a comment to see if either other people can help you out or to at least warn people that some future update has broken something. As far as the controls and UI go, Temtem is a perfect fit for the deck. It has full controller support as well as keyboard and mouse support, which means that it looks and feels perfect. All of the UI elements are large and readable, which works really well for handheld play. It even allows you to easily use the touchscreen to select attacks in battle. This is most likely because the developers had a Switch port in mind while they were making the game. And as a result, it's just a perfect fit for the Steam Deck. However, there is one area where the UI and controls of Temtem are not so great on the deck. As an online game with MMO-esque features, there is a chat box in the lower left corner of the screen at all times. The way you access this with the controller is by using the right bumper buttons to change which tab, and then you can use the on-screen keyboard to enter text. Unfortunately, each time you hit a shoulder button to change the tab you are currently selecting, it immediately pops up and prompts you for text entry, and you have to close out of it in order to switch over to the next tab over. And it does this every single time. I've seen similar text entry issues in a number of other Steam Deck games. I think this actually has something to do with Valve's verification process. And developers are doing this knowing full well to knowing just to meet some sort of text entry requirement that Valve is imposing. Regardless, unless you're spending a lot of time chatting with other people using your on-screen keyboard while playing on your Steam Deck, this is not going to be a huge issue. Now, as far as performance goes, you might take a quick look at Temtem and think that with such a simple art style, it couldn't possibly push the deck to its limits. Unfortunately, for at least some areas of the game, you would be incorrect. Now, during turn-based battles at least, the Steam Deck has absolutely no problems hitting a consistent 60 FPS. No matter how crazy or over the top the battle animations are, I couldn't get it to dip even a little bit. However, when you're running around in the overworld, that's a bit of a different story. A few areas of the overworld seem to push the deck to its limit for reasons that are kind of unclear to me. You can see the deck failed to hit 60 FPS in this one town area while pushing the device to consume over 20 watts of power trying to hit it. This causes some very notable stutter while you're playing. However, of note is that even in this area, the game never dips below 40 FPS. As a result, my recommendation would be to simply play Temtem with a 40 Hz, 40 FPS cap. Given that it is a turn-based game and even in the overworld is an overhead view, it's still going to look very smooth at 40 FPS, and capping it this way allows you to completely avoid any ugly frame rate dips. Not only that, but because you can get away with a lower frame rate cap without any real noticeable drop in smoothness, that's just a savings in power consumed, which means you'll get longer battery life. Speaking of battery life, I played with the quality settings on medium, and I would estimate about 3-4 to four hours of battery life, depending on what activities you're doing. If you spend more time in battle, you'll end up getting a lot longer battery life, but if you're spending a lot of time running around in the overworld, it could be a bit less. As far as my overall thoughts go, I played the vast majority of Temtem exclusively on my Steam Deck, and I had an absolutely wonderful time. It's a perfect fit for a handheld device like this, and because it's so easy to just pick up and play a bit, I find myself often just picking up the deck and doing a couple online battles or some end game activities and then just putting it back down whenever I have a little bit of free time. Simply put, Temtem is a great experience on deck. Thank you so much for watching. I plan to make many more Steam Deck videos, so if you don't want to miss out, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like while you're at it.
If you have any games you'd like to see me cover in the future on Deck Check, leave a comment letting me know. Your comments have been super helpful in letting me know what videos I should make next. Until then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.